and welcome to our channel Agla Same Schools. I am Ishwarya and today I am here to discuss our first chapter of social and political life. So, in this video, we will be discussing questions and answers of chapter number 1 that is the Indian Constitution. This chapter discusses how the Indian Constitution was formed and why do we need a constitution. It also talks about the key features of the constitution and its major role in a society and country. It will help students get familiarized with the importance of these features within the working of democracy in India. So, now let us start with the exercise and try and give appropriate solutions for the same. Starting with question number one, which says, why does a democratic country need a constitution? Answer for this question is, a democratic country needs a constitution for varied reasons. This includes, a constitution tells us what the fundamental nature of our society is. Point number two, constitution defines the nature of a country's political system. The constitution plays a crucial role in laying out certain important guidelines and govern decisions making within these societies. Point number three, it ensures the right to equality to all persons and says that no citizen can be discriminated against on grounds of religion, race, caste, gender and place of birth. Point number four, in democratic societies, the constitution often lays down rules that guard against this misuse of authority by our political leaders. In a democracy, the constitution ensures that a dominant group does not use its power against other less powerful people or groups. Now, moving on to question number two. Look at the wordings of the two documents given below. The first column is from 1990 Nepal constitution. The second column is from the most recent constitution of Nepal. What is the difference in who exercises executive power in the above two constitutions of Nepal? Answer. The difference in who exercises executive power in the above two constitutions of Nepal is Point number one. In the 1990 constitution, the power and authority were vested by the king. Point number two. In the 2007 interim constitution, the authority was shifted to the council of ministers. Thus, declaring Nepal a democracy from being a monarchy. Now, moving on to question number three. What would happen if there were no restrictions on the power of elected representatives? Answer. When there is no restriction on the power of elected representatives or political leaders, there is always a possibility that these leaders might misuse their authority and power, which can ultimately result in gross injustice. The constitution here plays a crucial role in laying out certain important guidelines and providing safeguards against these situations. Question number four. In each of the following situations, identify the minority. Write one reason why do you think it is important to respect the views of the minority in each of these situations. Point number A. In a school with 30 teachers, 20 of them are male. Second, in a city, 5% of the population are Buddhist. C. In a factory, mess for all employees, 80% are vegetarians. D. In a class of 50 students, 40 belong to more well-off families. Answer to these questions would be Point number A. In point number A, female teachers are the minority. It is important to respect the views of female teachers to help them raise their voice and give them equal opportunity and space. In point number B, Buddhists are in minority. It is important to respect every other religion and their beliefs. In point number C, non-vegetarians are in minority. Every individual has a distinctive lifestyle, choice and eating habits. People must respect the choice and interest of fellow colleagues. Point number D, unprivileged students are a minority. Students must not be discriminated against on the basis of their class, religion or living standards. Everyone should have the right to raise their opinions irrespective of their class. Now, question number five says, the column on the left 
list some of the key features of the Indian constitution. In the other column, write two sentences in your own words on why do you think this feature is important. Number one, federalism. It ensures national unity and alloys individual progress. Second, under federalism, the states are not merely agents of the federal government, but draw their authority from the constitution as well. Second, separation of powers. According to the constitution, there are three organs of the government. These are the legislature, the executive and the judiciary. It prevents the misuse of power by any one branch of government. The constitution says that each of these organs should exercise different powers. Through this, each organ acts as a check on the other organs of government and this ensures the balance of power between all three. Number three, fundamental rights. Fundamental rights protect citizens against the arbitrary and absolute exercise of power by the state. Fundamental rights, their object is twofold. The first objective is that every citizen must be in a position to claim those rights. And secondly, these rights must be binding upon every authority that has got the power to make law. Number four, parliamentary form of government. This means that the people of India have a direct role in electing their representatives. Also, every citizen of the country, irrespective of his or her social background, can also contest in elections. Now, lastly, question number six says, Write down the names of the Indian states which share borders with the following neighboring nations. Number A, Bangladesh. Number B, Bhutan and Nepal. For Bangladesh, the states are Assam, West Bengal, Mizoram, Meghalaya and Tripura. The Indian states that share border with Bhutan are West Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim and Assam. And lastly, for Nepal, it's Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Sikkim and West Bengal. So friends, this was all for chapter number one. We have covered the exercise completely. I hope all your doubts regarding the chapter are resolved through this video. If you still have any doubts regarding the chapter, then feel free to ask us in our comment section below. And yes, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more NCRT videos of other subjects too. See you soon. Bye-bye.